Welcome back, everybody. I am bringing you a Marvel Snap series one beginner guide for all you newbies out there who have recently just picked up Marvel Snap in the past month or so. This guide is for you. What's the objective of this guide? The, pretty much this guide is meant for players who are just new to this game for in between the collection levels of zero to 214. Basically understanding the different types of gameplay styles within Marvel Snap, for example, move on reveal and discard and so on, so on, so on effective ways to collect new cards, resource management, and early deck builds that help you prepare for Series 2. So what are the different types of styles within Marvel Snap? There's Unreveal, Ongoing, Destroy, Control, Discard, Move, Zoo, and there's a bunch more others. So for example, we'll get into Hawkeye. Hawkeye is an Unreveal card, and his role is basically pretty much as soon as you throw the card down, his ability will activate. And so if you want to play another card on top of him, he'll gain three power. So basically he's an unreveal, but also since he is a one card cost, he's also considered a zoo character to a certain degree, depending on the build of the deck. Professor X, he is considered an ongoing card explained by the end of the description, but he's also considered a control card. So pretty much a lot of these cards won't have just a one singular purpose, but they will also have maybe a dual purpose, but there's also some basic cards that have no purpose at all, and they're just meant to fill pretty much your deck. What's the most effective way to collect cards? Basically, focus in on credits. Credits are your best friend early on, and the only way to get credits are you're doing your daily missions, your weekly missions, and also collecting your daily 25 that's in the shop each night. Don't spend your gold. It is very important that you hoard that gold, especially later on into the further se series. Upgrade only level ones. So when I say level ones, I mean the Cyclops, for example, where it only has a white border. And when I hit the upgrade button that's in the bottom right hand corner of the screenshot, it pulls up a 25 five. And so 25 is for the credits and five is for boosters. So Boosters are something that's specifically for each character when you use them in uh, battle. Everybody has to remember, each collection is random. Only the first 16 cards are the same for everybody else. However, once you make it past 17 and onwards to the rest of the game, your collection is your own. I believe it's just a random card generator. Basically, that'll give you random cards. For example, to show this is proof, in Series 2, Shang-Chi, for one YouTuber I saw when I was doing research for this guide, got it right off the bat. I didn't get Shang-Chi until the very last level of the collect a Series 2 collection level. So here's some early deck builds. We have an ongoing deck, a dino deck, an unreveal deck, and zoo deck. Now, from my personal experience, I still use ongoing decks right now at the current moment, and I'm pretty sure majority of the ongoing cards you see right there, I believe I still have majority of them. I think I just take out, uh, no, Captain America, and actually, yeah, I pretty much just have, and Nightcrawler. I use other cards, but basically, that's still the main core. Uh, for Dino deck, I don't really use Dino decks. I'm not a big fan of the way Dino works, because I always feel like I get horrible RNG, but... Again, don't be afraid to experiment with these four different types of deck. These are all good decks. They're proven. Uh, these are pretty much proven meta decks early on in uh, Series 1. And also, I would recommend for anybody who's playing, work on Zoo decks early on, especially if you want to get some nice early wins. Now, the good thing about Zoo decks is that they dominate pretty much early on because you get a lot of one-cost cards when you're doing the... Um, the very first series one however they do fall off hard as soon as you hit series two because of the introduction to killmonger well everybody that is my marvel snap series one beginner guide in the future i will be showing like a demonstra live demonstration how to do this in particular so in the meantime everybody enjoy the rest of the night and hit that like and subscribe down below and thank you so much for all your support